Oh, hey, what's happening there, YouTube? It's Brian House here for Housework, and today we are going to be just talking about the Generation 2 laser cut steel pack that I've got listed on the website. There's been quite a few people who have asked me about this, and I feel like I should just address it so it makes sense. Uh, these are the parts here, and they just came in. Um, from Dallas, I had them shipped in. Matt uh, is helping me out with all of my shipping of these parts. And there's something just slightly different with Generation 2. If you bought Generation 1, not a big deal. Please understand that Generation 1 is just as good. These were, obviously, the, there were some minor modifications that I needed to make. Uh, one being that the C channel needed to be moved over just slightly from the center hole here. Uh, the mounting hole for the platen, and also the hinges for the, the work rest are now 3 8 inch thick. They're just all cut out of the same steel, and the work rest is now included, which is why the, the, the price is a little higher now, is you, you get the work rest included with this set. So this is now $225 shipped in the United States, and hopefully Canada soon. I've had so many emails from people in Canada who would like to purchase from me, and I, I'm having a, a little bit of a struggle finding affordable shipping to Canada. Um, and, I'm, and it was funny because I just spent the last hour on the phone with Shopify, and Shopify is the, the, the back end of my website that handles like, you know, calculating the shipping to your house and workshops and whatever, and they also calculate tax, and you know, basically run the back end of the, the shopping cart functionality of the website. And I, I, every time somebody would add the plate steel, these, which is 37 pounds to their cart, basically the cart would say it doesn't ship to Canada. And I'm trying to figure this out, right? So funny enough, the woman on the phone is um, from Ontario and she's like, oh, this is a an issue right and um told me a whole long story about how you guys in canada are really used to paying bloated shipping fees and it's a whole thing and blah 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 so i think i can do it for a flat rate fee but it's super expensive and i'm trying to iron that out so if you're from canada and you want to buy from me uh please let me know if you would be willing to pay a flat rate fee i think uh the website said it's like over 130 dollars to ship it um, and then we would need to beef the box up a little bit so there'd be a handling fee in there. Uh, does that make sense? I don't know. Um, it, it might to some of you. And, it, and if you did support me and buy through us and have it shipped, I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much. I, I don't expect it, but um, I just wanted to kind of give you an update on that. Hardware is not a big deal. Hardware, I can ship it in a flat rate padded envelope like this one. And uh, it doesn't cost a ton of money to do it, I think. Uh, maybe it does. I don't remember now to Canada. It wasn't too bad. and uh, But the website will calculate it and kind of make that all happen and fit together. One of the things I wanted to talk about was the tolerances of these laser cut parts. Um, the I can't express enough how precise these are. The gentleman I hired to cut these and and basically took our dxf files and cleaned them all up and made them proper and then ran them through a seven hundred thousand dollar laser cutter has done a, a really amazing job and just to kind of show you the clearances here i've um, taken the platen and i put a through bolt this is a half inch through bolt through the hole in the platen and what, th what this will show you is really how precise these, these holes are. There is very little play in this bolt. Like I can barely move it. And that's right off the table. The these were not modified in any way. These holes and the plate cut and everything is just absolutely perfect. And I feel super blessed to be, to have access to somebody that can make parts like this and I feel like it's right up there with the quality that I was looking for from the from day one and um and, and a really great price too and we were able to get those shipped out to everybody in the United States for 225 dollars and you know it, of course we're buying in bulk because we're selling so many we're, we're buying sheets 
of these. So you get 10 uh, sets on one four by eight sheet. So we buy probably, I think we buy four at a time. Uh, so 40 sets at a time. And uh, we're having trouble keeping them in stock, honestly. So we, we keep go going back to him and he's, he's grateful for the work. But I just, um, I just was so impressed with every little detail. And then also he even fixed some radiuses for me on some of the drawings I didn't have the radius is on the on the tilting mechanism for the or the tilting hinge the locking hinge for the the, the hinges and i thought you know he just did a great job and and it, i'm just super appreciative so i essentially have spent the last uh, couple weeks shipping items out uh, figuring out logistics kind of working around the whole coronavirus thing i didn't think that it was going to cause this much havoc in sourcing things and parts um, all the hardware that I usually buy through McMaster car uh, and have it shipped in, it's now, t it used to come the next day and now it's coming two, three days later. So we we're just experiencing a little bit uh, lag in the hardware orders. But the good news is, is I'm stocked up. There's, there's 10 sets in there that I can ship out at any time and I'm, I'm caught up now. So all of our orders are caught up and, and we're, we're doing okay in that regard. And um, if, you, if you notice any glitches on the website as far as shipping goes, if you see anything in there that makes uh, you think that something's broken, shoot me an email, brian at housework.us, because I have been playing around a ton with the shipping to try to figure out the Canadian orders. And uh, once I get that figured out, though, I think uh, this process will go much smoother for everyone involved. So uh, also, I, again, I cannot express my gratitude enough to you all who support me in my process of building this business. I have some really super exciting things coming down the line that I can't really talk about, but I want you to know that through you, through you purchasing through me and, and, and basically voting with your dollars and spending through me and supporting my channel, um, it's giving me reach that I didn't have before. And it's created in a very short amount of time a, a business that I feel could really go somewhere, like really, really go somewhere. Not just in terms of, um, you know, selling one grinder or selling parts, but we could turn this thing into like a manufacturing uh, hub, a, a creative hub and space for people who are wanting to design and build their own machines. And, um, uh, I, so I started a Facebook group where you can actually go there and contribute. Um, it's just called DIY uh, belt grinders and machines. So it's not specific to belt grinders because I'm honestly, I want to design other grinders and other machines. So I'm thinking like, you know, belt grinders are probably going to be the focus for a while because we're working on the revolution. But other, you know, ideas, other concepts can be uh, formulated in there. Plus, it's a great place to share, uh, you know, experiences, ask questions, talk about belt tracking and motors and VFDs and all the experiments we've got going on in here and in your workshop. You can share there freely and it's a safe space and I will moderate it or I'll have somebody moderate it uh, because I've been a part of a couple of other groups that are fantastic that have gotten me where I am today, where I've been able to have conversations with people on there. And I feel very positive about those conversations and I've learned a lot, but they're filled with trolls and people who um, just want to argue over stupid stuff. And I'm over people doing that. It's just ridiculous. It just makes no sense. If you're negative, just go somewhere else. I'm not going to pay any attention to you. Uh, so the DIY belt grinders group, I'm going to put a link down in the description so you can find it. And if you're on Facebook, join me there and follow along and participate. It's a place, a safe place to have a dialogue about what you're doing. And there is a zero tolerance rule for negativity. So if you, um, you come in there being a jerk, you're out. So anyway, if you got something out of today's video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. There are numerous ways to support my channel and uh, they're all down below. Amazon store, Teespring, Patreon, my website. You can buy parts and pieces. You all know that. Thank you so much. And um, I hope that you're all happy, healthy, and well. And I hope to see you on the next video. My name is Brian House and this has been Housework. Mm -hmm.